My Lab Excel Courses Creating a Homework Assignment, January 2017. Some My Lab courses have pre built assignments or you can copy and assign sample assignments. You can also build your own homework, quizzes, tests, and in some cases, writing assignments and other special assignment types. In this video, we will learn about creating your own homework. To get started, access either Course Tools and go to your Assignment Manager or Instructor Tools, Manage Assignments, or click on the Homework Test Manager link to create assignments. The Create Assignment drop down list lets you create homework, create a quiz, create a test, add an offline item, import or copy assignments from another course, copy and assign sample assignments, or create custom questions. Please note these options may vary by product. Step 1 Define your homework assignment. Choose the gradebook category, in this place, homework. You can change a test to a quiz and vice versa, but not to homework. If your institution uses a unit-based learning management system, choose a unit the assignment belongs to from the drop-down list. If your MyLab and LMS gradebooks are synchronized, send grades to this assignment to the LMS gradebook determines whether results for this assignment will be sent. Enter a name for your assignment. Special homework options. You can create a personalized homework assignment that includes only the material a student has not mastered based on the results of a prerequisite test or quiz. If your course offers adaptive practice, you can choose yes. Give additional coaching and targeted practice with Skill Builder Adaptive Help. When this option is selected, students can access Skill Builder Adaptive Practice when they do the assignment. Skill Builder monitors your student's progress and offers adaptive help just in time when the student needs it. Step 2. Add and edit content. The available questions list displays questions you can select for your assignment. The questions displayed in this list depend on the sources you chose for your questions. You can filter the list to show or hide questions. Check the boxes and click Add. In all courses, you can use Chapter, Section, and Objective drop-down list to filter the questions in the available question list. Only the questions associated with your selected levels will be displayed. You view and add questions to your assignments from one chapter, section, objective or standard at a time. To create assignments that include questions from multiple standards, complete the process one at a time, then select and add questions from a new chapter, objective, or standard, and repeat the process for as many as you need. When you're creating a homework assignment, you can also see question and media tabs above the list of available questions. Click the media tab to choose media such as animations or videos. You can choose the publisher's media or add your own. You can also add follow-up questions for your students to answer after they viewed the media. Question information, question identifiers and value. If you see, for example, 132, it's the number of question in your textbook. Chapter 1, Section 3, Problem 2. In the My Selections list, you will also see the order number in the assignment, the associated book objective or section, the estimated amount of time for students to complete the question, and the default point value. Difficulty level. If available for your course, you will see an icon that indicates the difficulty of the question based on question metrics. The more bars, the more difficult the question. You can click the sort icon on the table header to sort questions by difficulty. You can see the total estimated time for the assignment in the header above the My Selections list. You can also see the total number of questions at each difficulty level by clicking View Question Details above the My Selections list. You have thumbnail or full previews of questions as well. Step 3. Assignment Settings Now choose settings for your assignment, such as start and end dates. The wizard shows different settings depending on the type of assignment you are creating or copying. At the top right of the page, you can click to review individual student settings to see any students have individual settings for the assignment. If you are assigning what is called a Dynamic Study Module, or DSM, only your settings for due date and penalty for late admissions are applied to the assignment. Because those modules are part of a separate application, the other selections in this step have no effect. Click on your product training resources or in product help to learn more about availability options, scoring options, access options, presentation options, and additional settings. Click Save to save your assignment without making it available to students, or click Save and Assign to save it and make it available to students. Students will see the assignment on the start date you specify. The assignment you create is added to the end of the assignment list on the Homework Test Manager page. You can reorder assignments in the list. By default, the assignment has a weight of 10 points. You can change the weight in the gradebook. Thank you for watching our video about creating a homework assignment. Learn more about creating tests and quizzes, pooling questions, working with writing assignments, custom questions, and other assignment features on your product training sites.